Okay, so we're back and we choose Terra, right? I'm, I'm, I, I already forget. As I walk closer and closer to the games room, I could hear people screaming bloody murder. Help! You're not going anywhere! Take him! I'm too young to die! I rushed inside as fast I, as I could. What kind of brother would sacrifice his own flesh and blood to survive? Life is tough, buttercup. No! I save you, bro! Bro. Ah! It's the heroes that die first, you know. Bro! Where was I? Oh, right. One down, two to go. Get over here. They were playing a fighting video game. Oh, Sopsha! Give me a second, I got to beat a pest control. Two and three, kill him. Kill him first? Okay. Kill it first! Oh, it's like that. Oh, got it. Oh. Alright, alright. You're lost. Fair and square. As promised, you guys know what you have to do. The brothers five uh, ground groat as they each put on some kind of the futuristic helmet. Okay. Uh, you're uh, incredible, Terra. You're incredible, incredible, Terra. You decimate those guys without breaking a sweat. I do make a living doing this, believe it or not. Though lately it's been a little boring. Why is that? It's just same old, same old, you know. Though I do have something new in the store, if you're down. I'm down, okay. I'm down for anything. Good! I'm just gonna need you to put on this non-suspicious at all headset. Oh my god, is this is this sort of a line? I hate that. Stop it. Jesus. Okay, I don't hate the whole sword art online. I hate the how much they milking it, okay? Terra picked up a helmet from behind the couch uh, I don't know, and placed it on my head, okay? This won't hurt a bit, don't worry. Oh, I'm already not feeling worried at all, yeah. Wait, why would it, uh, what? I it was like lighting, lightning ran through my head. Jesus. What? I'm in some kind of a uh, forest. What? Shah, you're here too. W w where are we? I want to go home. Oh, stop whining. We're just in a video game. Come on. This isn't the first time you've seen this happen in the fiction. What kind of a thing exists now? I've been around for at least a million years by now. It's been... Uh, wait. Why I said that? It, it's been around for at least a million years by now. Get with the time. Uh, last time I checked, I never heard of anything like this. Alright, alright, maybe it was some kind of weird, you know, device i never seen before. Can you bl blame me for wanting to try messing with it? Wait, there is no way this could be a video game, it looks too real. I had to admit, I had my doubts too. Everything looked as if it were really there. Hey. You want 
proof just try walking outside of this forest two took a few cautious step forward then some more oof he smacked against some kind of invisible wall there is some kind of a uh, invisible wall here it really is a video game huh actually that's the wall of the games room I thought this console would, uh, would be like a deep dive sort of virtual reality video game but it seems like everything we do here is replicated in the real world deep dive no thank you walk too many a step in a certain minute Ugh! doesn't that make this kind of uh, useless I guess if you are allergic to fun the sound of intercom played through the forest hey can you guys hear me chat you can't uh, we can't hear you what's up you guys need to log out of that game right now if you are in the game too long it fry your brain what how why uh, long story short, it's an experimental, how to say, game console that we had in a storage. No idea how Terra found it though. This show is always trying to find a new way to kill me, isn't it? How much time do we have? Before it fries your brain, I don't know, maybe a few minutes, maybe several hours, but slowly sap your sanity the longer you're there. Just log out already. We don't know how. The brother swipes and I look around frantically, but there wasn't any way for us to log out. God damn it, this is sort of line, God. <laughs> Oh, I don't think you guys can see the log ad menu. I think it's an uh, admin only thing, uh, kind of thing. If you can't see it, Terra, then come on, log us, log us out already. She <laughs> she cackled like a B movie maniac. Something tell me that she didn't have much of sanity to sap in the first place. But it's such a shame to leave so soon! Let's play a game first. Jesus. It just so happened that as an admin, I can change all of your avatars at will. Check this out. Bam. Okay. I look down to my hands, which had now become tiny little white wings. I look down at my face and I have a beak. I become bird. Oh God, what did she do to us? We are pigeons. Oh no, this is the pitch simulator now. Let me out. We never become accountants now. You're gonna die here. Yeah. I think I got a new fetish. Wait, what? The pigeons five uh, ran around frantically, frantically, like chickens with their heads cut off. Oh my god, I can't blame them. I looked up to Terra, who seemed like a giant compared to compared to us now. Now I'm sure you're wondering why I turned you all to birds. I guess you could say that. It's funny, Shah. Earlier you told me that this whole show was like a dating sim, except that you were in the driving seat. Wait, what? Now the shoe is on the other foot. Okay. She cackled again like a wicked witch. Oh, th there was a visual novel about pigeons, about the birds, you know. A heartful something something I don't know. Heartful boyfriend? Yeah. Welcome to Pigeon Dating Sims Battle Royale, Big Bot. You all have to seduce me if you want to get out of here. 
bruh what kind of fetish is that with each day that passes i fear more for humanity's future ah and you want us to be pigeons for this i mean yeah the ratio of human to pigeon visual law is totally out of whack man i figure we should balance that out uh, what? I'm trapped in a killer virtual rea reality game. I'm also trapped on a killer dating show. To make matter worse, I'm also trapped in a body of a pigeon. Now I need to seduce a woman with, uh, with my avian charm. You can imagine the kind of stress I'm under. Now, seduce me. One 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 by one the pigeons five fire pickup line after pickup line the terra but not uh, on a veil Come on come on move those wings like you mean it I tried my hand uh, at the few two but it was clear they had no effect I can't imagine that being a pigeon helped with that any in any way. Mm, let's try one more, okay? How about... Damn girl, you're hot! Damn girl, you look so fly! Damn girl, you're more addicting than quack! What the hell, man? <laughs> Uh, let, let's save this part, let's save it, yeah, turn, let's go with quack. It might will to leave that on all, at that an all time low, I, what, the game went dark. Oh, a moment later, we were back in the games room. What? We are back, thank god. I got fingers. I can write. I could feel how to balance shit. Oh, just when it got in. Oh, just when it was getting good. Wait, is something burning? The game console had smoke coming out of it. Yet it's toast. What? What happened? My mind's all foggy. You okay, Tara? I'm going to take a nap. She jumped on the couch and with a second was fast asleep. The brothers, five, and I decided that it would be the best to never talk about this again. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Ooh, look at this place. I stumbled back to my room and plopped uh, onto my bed, okay. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I shuffled over in a haze, okay. Oh, it's Kate. Hey there, Shah. Sorry to bother you this late. It's alright. What's up, Kate? Don't mind me, just gonna make myself real comfortable. Excuse me? Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. I was about to sleep. Oh my god, you had no idea how much better your beds are compared to Saf. You think the ones actually working here would get treated nicely? I closed the door, then sat facing her on the opposite, uh, opposite side of the bed. I'm guessing you are not coming to my room at the night to start a workers' union. I wonder, what would you want me to come to your room for instead? I can think of a few things. You would think five women would be enough for a person. You are incorrigible. Incorrigible? I'm not sure. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obligated to help you survive until the end of the show. 
You just... just until the end of this show? I'm heartbroken. Ah. Being your babysitter doesn't pay well to make it a long-term gig. I'll be checking in with you each night uh, to let you know why you are, uh, how you are doing and give you some advice here and there. That's nice of you. Thanks, Kate. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Back to the topic. Your, our audience really love your date with Tara today. Honestly, I got no idea what to say about your date today with Tara. Except that I'm surprised anyone thought it was a good one. Can I really be picky when my life's on the line? I guess not. That say, I'm hoping we can spark a little more drama into this show. More romance, love triangles, less pigeons. So tomorrow, I want you to find who your other soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date. Uh, I'd rather go on a second date with Tara tomorrow. The phone is kind of off, but uh, it's fine. Um, what should we do? What do you guys think? Should I save it here and you guys tell me what to do? Let's do that. Let's let's save it here. You know, let's uh, no, no, no. let's save it here. And you guys in a, tell me in a comment what should I do about this. And I record in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.